Hey everyone. How's it going? Been a little bit since last I was on in broadcasting. Just wanted to catch up. Haven't been posting as much, not been buying as much. There we go. That over here. So, let's see. What have I... What have I been picking up lately? I should have been better prepared for this. Oh! Haha. <laughs> Alright, here's one. Uh, one of my Amazon packages. Let's see. I know what this is though, because I am ordering a lot less. But I wanted this to get the uh, little additional promo with it now. I might have been able to save some money on it later, but not a big deal. Open it from the bottom first. I don't know where my roof line is. Uh, yeah, I'll lower myself a bit. Anyone needs to see that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's hope it's all there. This, uh, I could care less about. Not a fan of the hidden side stuff. All parts are great when they're cheap. Free would purchase, I guess, uh, when you purchase beyond a certain point. 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Hidden side, uh, do we have a name for it? Drag Racer 40408. Let's see. Lego Ideas International Space Station. I was a supporter of this. Box is in pretty good condition, not that I care. I'm going to be building it. I don't collect boxes, I collect Lego. And. Okay, the rest is garbage. <clears throat> so, yeah, there we go. That's a little weird with the screens the way they are. Box with the badge on it, badge in it barely closes frankly it's barely sealed mm. self-adhesive and not that it's going to auto focus it's not it's on straight focus so this is the bigger batter one there we go nice badge uh, same quality as the round one from previous uh, space that I bought. It's off center and it's you know I guess it's is it stitched in? This one might actually be stitched in. I feel a little bit of what might be stitching or embroidery on this. Like the little box though. I'm gonna try and keep that intact. A little bit on the low quality side does have a UPC though so they can scan it. Contains one patch. But uh, yeah, really excited. Good solid weight. I guess the I got feeling the book is what's weighing this down because 864 pieces is not terribly heavy. Let's see. We can Ooh. 
How's that? So that was one purchase that I had shipped. Uh, FedEx, not an issue. Tracking was all good. Everything was all good. And apparently, um, the build of the station is supposed to come out to roughly uh, just under 20 inches long by just over 12 inches wide. So almost 20 and 12-ish that way. So kind of excited about that. It's always nice to get new Lego ideas. Keep those together. Okay. And smaller package. This one I kind of got on a whim just because I collect these things. I was going to wait for a price break. Might get a price break on it later if I buy more for army building. Or I'll let it out of the bag. That's already a clue. Lego using the LG1 box here. So yeah, no, there's no deal here on this set. Put that back for a second. Make sure I got what I think I got. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, okay, cool. It's always nice when you get more than you thought you were getting. So we'll open it again. So top down. I'm a battle pack guy. Oh, slightly ding box. Thank you, Lego. Fortunately, I don't collect them for the boxes. But yeah, little ding. Yes, yeah, I can focus at that height. Looks like I got my focus set from there. See, it's sharper there. All right. The other battle pack this is probably the most popular battle pack in years. Ah, the Mandalorian battle pack. Might even get my daughter some of these. But they were back in stock at the exact same time at Lego. I know this was back ordered for a while and I could have ordered this at any point to get this. Blah blah blah, but as soon as I saw the flag that told me they were both back on at the exact same time, ordered them both. Now, to get either, I'm not sure if it was the free shipping or for the promo, I can't remember which, I added this guy. And I'm going to give that to my daughter. Because I have no use for these. And she's been getting every one that I order. Whenever I use a keychain. To put myself just over the right amount to get something. And when I look at the color scheme. I notice that the head is actually different than the rest of it. actually paid for that on discount or whatever to get oh joy so this must be free with whatever value purchase I made so now I've got two of these hidden side dragsters yay I guess I'm obligated to build one now I don't like any scheme where to enjoy it. you got the cell phone deal but hey if it doesn't cost us anything extra, great. And there you go. Whatever I did here made it so that this came in, which is great. 
from week 30 R whatever R0 you tell me what that is. as far as I know the first two digits means the week of production so now I got my 20th anniversary OB1 free that overpaid like some schmucks did from Europe I'm not gonna knocking it I've done it all right by the way so the stuff that constitutes this FedEx package here this was a bloody nightmare already had the space station in the system um, and then I pulled the trigger on this stuff to get it and <clears throat> FedEx had made the delivery attempt I had to pick up card and I made the arrangements to pick it up at the depot like I usually do and then and that was okay that was set up in the system that was approved and then while I was on the phone I saw that they now had possession of this package and I said well listen uh, why don't you just flag this one for hold at depot and I'll pick it up at the end of the week like I do with all my regular stuff and the person on the phone with me said yes I actually knew better but I try every time because sometimes I do catch them and I can get it the way I want and they said yes so of course I did my little happy dance and then an uh, hour later FedEx Brown calls me just to confirm like they always do that they're doing such and such making sure I am who I am all right, I'm still smiling. And then an hour or two after that, another FedEx representative calls me and says, uh, Mr. Martin, no, we cannot do that without first attempting a delivery as per the sender's instructions. That is Lego's deal. I get that. I, I'm dealing with this for years now, trying to get them to bend on that. And uh, nope, which is fine. So the next day they were supposed to make a delivery attempt never came out and that's when I started posting that they were going to try and make a delivery at 1 a.m. they literally put that in there anyway it was all BS they held it at the site I could have picked it up actually that day because um, it never left the depot on a truck they were just that was FedEx's way of getting around Lego because Lego wanted them to make the attempt they and I had told them don't make the attempt I won't be around funny thing is I was around that day but um, Anyway, me and my wife went out, picked up my FedEx and other courier shipments, but not showing you guys everything, but this is stuff I'm comfortable showing you guys. So, I'm going to be adding these nice, nice battle packs to the backlog of um, 20 battle packs, maybe, give or take. Yeah, probably because some of those are double beat. So, lots and lots of bad packs. Love these things. Fun story, for those that don't know. Um, Lego Star Wars, Star Wars Battle Packs is their way of getting us figures. Um, Lego, way back, I don't know, 1999, 2000, 2001, had released three or four of these little packs of just figures. Had three, fig had three figures each one. And they got in trouble. Uh, being a licensee, they have rules to follow. They were not supposed to release individual figures. And that constituted a figure-only release. So this was their workaround. Give you small, tiny builds. Hey, it's great. It's not they keep them cheap. Not too many people complain. We would love to see more main characters. But um, sounds like this are great for army building. You know, because they're not individualized characters so much. I mean, if you're building a lot of Mandalorians, you probably want this set. And this is great to build a Seth army. All right, so we got those. And then uh, let's see. did we do oh yeah 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 so yesterday this was cool um 
drug town here in oh look at that. yeah a little beat up box um drug town is a pharmacy in Etobicoke in the gta in toronto area um uh 15 minutes drive 10 minutes drive for me not far chris uh Chris either runs it or he's a pharmacist there. Um, three, four times a year, he puts on a sale, puts all kinds of stuff out. Usually priced very fairly at Bricklink or ever so slightly above Bricklink. Um, all sealed sets, of course, you know. Nice. Um, and it's a great way of getting sealed sets, not just for Star Wars, but whatever themes he's got out. He's got all kinds of great themes, rotates his sales. And uh, it's a great way of getting sealed sets without, um, oh, look at that, without um, paying shipping, you know, and that's a savings there. Met uh, some nice people yesterday when I was there. I was going to go Friday night before closing, but by the time I saw that he had the sale going again, um, it was half hour and I didn't really want to race in the snow in Toronto to get to Etobicoke. A little curious, if you, you know, if you can see it, that's someone's price tag once upon a time. Cad Bane Speed 8128. 8128. I wonder if that's his internal numbering or someone else's. But a uh, great little set, and actually, kind of with the Mandalorian theme, we got some Senate Commandos. I'm pretty sure these are Mandalorian Senate, uh, Mandalorian Senate Commandos. So that's kind of cool, just dumb luck, fits in. Cad Bane figure, one of the most awesome figures from the cartoon. Shahan Alama, no clue. And I've never really understood why they mark special edition on these. For the size of the box, it doesn't feel too bad. So you know how some really feel like they waste the box. But there is only 318 pieces. Going to be a bunch of big pieces in here, but um, yes. Slightly beat up box, but fully sealed. Looks great. And it looks like I now have everything on the back of this box. Very cool. Can't remember if this acts out as seen from the cartoon or not. So, yeah, that catches us up on some of my re recent acquisitions, so there's anything I want to share. Where's um, my drink? Hoping everyone's having a good day. Nothing I want to show you. And I don't think so. Hmm. I'll put that there for now. I don't want to block my other camera. I was thinking. Oh, big stretch. Oh. You know what? I never did open these things. Christmas house candy, train candy, and the gingerbread. And I'm thinking it's time I open up some junk food. So, oh, and that reminds me, I'm probably going to do that, but I still got to build this bad boy. Might start this today. So I'm going to, how about I cut this video short so I can get some stuff off the desk. Let's build some candy. What do you think? Build some junk food. I'm going to take this off the screen for a minute. Nice little shot for, for my clip. Ta 
uh, all right. Well, thanks for joining me for this catch up and uh, join me on the next video. I'll start in a few moments, probably. And